Personally, if my mother-in-law is not in support of my marriage, I won't go ahead with it. If your mother-in-law does not accept you, should you still go ahead with the marriage? Let's find out. If your mother-in-law doesn't accept you, would you still go ahead with the marriage? No. Why? And because mother-in-law is the owner of the house. Without okay. her acceptance, the marriage won't work. Because she'll make sure she'll frustrate you hmm. in the marriage. That she'll make sure that you're uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I really love the guy, I'll mm -hmm. just hope and pray she accepts me. Because really, I can't deal with mother-in-law drama. Ah. <laughs> if he loves me, I'll still go ahead with it. Do you know mother's blessings is very important? Don't you think so? Uh, yes, I know. If there is no genuine reason why she doesn't like me, I'll still go ahead with Some it. Some people are just like that. They won't just like you. <laughs> I'll still go ahead. You still go ahead. Yeah, because I love him and he loves me as well. I can't go ahead with the marriage. Why? Because I think the mother-in-law determined the marriage in the first place. Because anything, anything he says is what I will go about, and I can't just, I can't force my, I mean, I can't force myself to marry the, the lady without the consent of the, of the, the mother-in-law. Ah uh, no. Why? I don't think it's possible. Why? Because. If a lady wants to marry, you have to consider the family of the man you want to get married first. But now that the mother-in-law does not accept me, I don't see any reason why I should go ahead with the man. Mm -mm. <coughs> no, I won't. <laughs> why? <laughs> why? I sure wouldn't. Why would I? The mother-in-law doesn't have accept you. That means the whole family doesn't want to accept the man. Hmm. And you're not only married to the man, you're also married to the family of the man. So very importantly, everybody must accept you. No, in court. It doesn't have to be everybody, but at least 90% uh, right. of the people or your husband's people must accept so you. Sure. Especially your mother-in-law. Yeah. So I wouldn't advise anybody to go I wouldn't go ahead okay. with it. But then, th there are things you will do. If somebody becomes your friend, definitely the person will develop a, 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 you know, a soft spot for you. I, first, I have to know a reason of not accepting me. Okay. And if based on a reason, if it is not ethical, as in it's not culturally, I probably maybe because of our own life experience, I would advise the father-in-law to speak on my behalf, to talk to her. And if she's still adamant, I think um, we can go ahead with, with the marriage. Yeah. Okay, it all depends on the guy. Okay. How? If the guy is not the mommy's type, like I will know if he actually has my back or not. If he has my back, I can go ahead with the marriage. But if he doesn't, I wouldn't go ahead with the marriage because I wouldn't know if definitely his mother-in-law is going to control him. To keep our distance or something, I don't know. Keep I won't your be going to her house, she won't be coming to our place. Oh. Or if she's around, I won't be in the house. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> And you think you will enjoy the marriage yeah. with well, that? We'll find a way around it. Wow. <laughs> what about if you love the guy so much? I'll give up the love. Just yeah. like that. Yeah, just for because your own happiness, right? Just for my own happiness because you can never come between a mother and a son, no matter mm. what. No matter how the guy loves you, definitely blood is thicker than water. Yeah, he still loves his mother, mother, anything. Yeah. You need acceptance in marriage, especially from your relatives, from your husband's people. And if you don't have it, you don't have it. Mm. There's nothing you can do about it. You will only get frustrated in the marriage. Wow, guys. Well, I got there's two sayings from Nigerians today. One is, blood is thicker than water. And the second one is, love is not everything in a marriage. That's a food for thought for you guys. That's all for today. I'm Odo Irene, part of us at